Yo, Mario, let me tell you something about basketball. Basketball is good for your health, but I need to work to get my wealth. All right, so go to work and go get your wealth. We got the W. Congratulations. Anyway, and a shout out, to, and a shout out to Simba. Three point play for my foul. Yo, he did it. He did his thing today. He shut the mangler down. This still don't matter though. The fact is that we were up 19 points. How can you give away 19 points? That's the problem. I understand it. Guess what? You still gotta play defense. You still gotta move. Guess what? Ain't nobody running back. They trot back. You playing like you're 70 or 80. Yo, come Ain't no excuse for it. Come to team uh, practice. Team practice Tuesday night. Tuesday night for team practice at L L L LIU I'm Athletic. I'm That's 161. It's better here than last Thank you. There you go. Hey, edit the film. <laughs> you don't edit nothing. Yo, once again, it's like Tuesday therapy with uh, Coach Davon, LIU Athletic League. Come out Tuesday nights to work on your game. <laughs> hey, Josh, you're not going to believe this, baby. I did what I could. Guess what? I'm so glad you ain't here. Today is your day. I'm happy for you in church. Keep doing what you're doing. But if you would have came here today, we'd probably be cussing each other out. June 17th, you'll see it all over again. East Harlem, East 120th. I'm on my way right now back to Harlem for AG's a Memorial Game to Black Rob. Uh, you won't be there, but if you're watching this, chances you heard about it. Peace and blessings until the next video. If you're interested in being a part of June 17th, give me a call or reach out to Diamond Video Productions on IG, number 646-548-5881. If you didn't know, now you know.
say I was extremely surprised when I came to this thing. I saw my PNC family and I was extremely surprised when I saw them I couldn't even believe that I'm seeing them because my nieces them and my children they really brought in to this thing my friends and I was really, really surprised, and this is great. I'm going to enjoy myself now and for the rest of the evening, and it's great. Very great. I have to thank my nieces. I have to thank my, my two kids here. And I have to thank all my family for attending. Oh, thanks very much. Very, 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 very much. You're my favorite guy, um, brother-in-law, friend. I'm glad I'm here, and I'm glad that you were really surprised in spite of the confusing signals you were getting. God bless you, Alec. You're my brother. You're my brother-in-law. You're my friend. May you live as long as you wish. Amen. Happy birthday, Alec.
you say happy birthday to Alec, please, before you start eating? We don't want to bother you while you're eating. We don't want to bother you while you're eating. Happy birthday to my brother Alec. Hold the mic, love. Happy birthday to Alec, and I wish him many, many more as he continues to live on this art plate. That's it. Thank you. Young people, young people, would you please say happy birthday to Alec before you start eating? Happy birthday, Uncle Alec. I hope you enjoyed your party. Happy birthday and many more. So we don't bother you while you're eating. Just say happy birthday. Happy birthday to my Uncle Alec. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Um, <laughs> I mean, for Thank God for a, a blessed 80 years on this planet Earth, man. Many, 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 many more. Young man, would you please say happy birthday to Alec, please? Yo, Uncle Alec, happy birthday. Love you. Uh, I don't see you that much, but every time I see you, it's a great time. It's a great time. Happy birthday! Let's pass the mic up here. Say something to the honorary, please. Okay. Happy birthday, Uncle Alex. I'm wishing you the best of health, love, happiness. I love you very, very much. Happy birthday, Alex. I'm wishing you God's gracious health, strength, and everything that's good. Happy birthday again. Good afternoon, Uncle. I want to wish you the very best birthday ever. We love you and are grateful for your presence here on Earth. Love you, Uncle, from our family. Happy birthday. Alec, to my cousin, to one of my best cousins, happy birthday. Okay. I'm not one to speak from extempore or extemporaneously, but I will KISS. I will keep it short and sweet, or if you want, you can tell me to KISS, meaning to keep it short, stupid. Anyway, Alec, I'm wishing you the best on today. Your body, it is your day, so enjoy it. Thank you. Alec, let me congratulate you for being the second person to reach age 80 in the family. So you're coming really good after me. Um, this is a very fine occasion, and it exemplifies your spirit and who you are. Don't change. Continue being who you are. God bless you. Peace and love. Huh? I want to wish my uncle a happy 80th birthday and may God bless him to see many, many more. was there for me and my siblings from an early, early age. And we love and appreciate him for that. And he's always been there throughout my college years. He was there and he has always been like a father figure to us. So I'm happy that he's here at his age now, healthy and able to enjoy life. And that we're all here with him. Happy birthday. <laughs>
social media on Instagram at Ayanganese, that's I-Y-A-N-A-L-Y-N-E-S-E, and I have Facebook. Bubbly. Hello, what's your name? Are you here? I'm Ayana, and what do you sell? So we're selling popcorn, the business is called 23 Kernels by Jordan James, because she hey. loves popcorn. Say hi, Jordan. She's being greedy now, because that's just all she does is eat. Um, you can find us on my Instagram, lovelyhd25. Okay. Uh, and yes, <laughs> it's popping. <laughs> so what inspired you to start pop popcorn business? Mainly because she is her love. Like, she really, really loves popcorn. <laughs> and I'm thinking 23 kernels. Because her name is Jordan, 23, the number, yeah. Carlos Popcorn. So yeah. that's how we got the name. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> okay, I'm your girl Yanni with Lip Glice. I'm your girl Yanni with Lip Glice. She has face. I, I really enjoy coming out today. We have some suckers that won a couple of games and they want to pose in front of a trophy. So we kind of get soft in the park. But that's all right. They won a couple of games. They want to have a little glory. And we're going to let them have a moment in the front of the sun. But I tell you one thing. This is the last damn Sunday they pose in front of a trophy. That's all I got to say. Who's your basketball hero? No more comment. Who's your My basketball hero? I don't really know. Bernard King. Bernard King is not bad to do. The Lord King is my favorite nigga. I'm a diehard Knicks fan. Me, so cool. Yeah, man. Now I said the popcorn store. Y'all posing for a trophy with no two, three bitches. Come on. <laughs>
And um, you know, they know they suck, but we, we, we ain't gotta go there, man. We're gonna keep it respectable in the park right now, but they won a couple of games. That's all right, though. But we don't usually give out lollipops when we win a game. Let's see what's up. Come on, Sean, say something the 301. And take the group basketball hero. Oh, my bad, my bad. I'm going to check it out. It was beautiful out here. It was my first time coming out here, so, you know, it was, I had fun. You know, I won one, last two. I'll be back, you know. And, um, my favorite player, oh, wow, I got a whole lot of them. My favorite player is the, the, the GOAT, MJ, the best that ever did it. In my lifetime. That's it. That's your lifetime or anybody's lifetime. Um, still recording the game for the day. Up here in Van Cortland on the Bronx, New York. This is Black Lives Matter event. We're doing it with Law Work from Front Court Master, DJ Mario on the scene, Lord Dean, and all these players are doing a fantastic job. We won, right? Not yet. We haven't won a game yet. Oh, yeah, you're the blue team. No, 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 no. Well, of course. This is quite a make it, huh? Yeah. All right, introduce yourself here. Uh, Kamari, nice to meet you. I'm from the Bronx. Uh, I'm out here representing my dad to show love to Black Lives Matter. Who's your dad? Uh, Richard Rose. Oh, okay, yes, I gotta get him. He's been showing me some uh, back of the day. What do you think about that, your dad um, being a, uh, a legend? I feel like it's a blessing to see that everybody of how old they are, they are out here still supporting each other and still showing love to each other and really working hard. Yeah, that's great. And I'm doing a couple of things. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. There you go. Now, so that being this is Black Lives Matter, you know, a lot is going on in the world, in this country, right here in our own community. So, as a young black man, what does Black Lives Matter mean to you? It means acceptance and um, importance to each other, like showing that we all matter, no matter what the situation is, no matter what circumstances are, we matter. Okay, that's great, that's great. And I'm growing up in the hospital, father being, um, who he was, uh, how does that make you feel, having a, uh, a father, you know, I guess, was he famous, was he, um... Oh, well, I wouldn't say he was famous, <laughs> but he did play all over the world, he played in Mexico and things of that nature, so I feel like growing up in a household with him, it made it like a very concrete thing, like something that I had to be done, like I felt like this had to be done for me, like I had to go and succeed in life, so he made it happen. So in other words, he took you in the backyard and like he was throwing balls or dribble and... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can imagine what Michael Jordan uh, probably did with him. Yeah, yeah. And another, another athlete, I mean, I remember the um, story with Tiger Woods. He had a, um, a club in his hand when he was three years old. Yeah. You know, so what, what were some of the lessons you learned from your father? I think most of my lessons was at eight years old, he made me start playing basketball. He made me pick up basketball and ever like, since then it was just like, go. <laughs> and that's what it was, just go. Oh, you're so to just keep the three in the water, huh? In the water, give me to the rules, I think it was. Well, that's great. Well, that's great. Thank you. Uh, yeah, um, I'm celebrating 50 years of uh, graduating from City College in New York. Lyle came, Lyle Woods came after me, and we're glad to be here. God bless. Well, hey there, man. Thank you and God bless. We're pulling from Riverside Park with Mario and company. We're just keeping up what we've been doing all these years. Okay, these guys, some of these young guys don't realize how important it is at an early age to start getting the manly recreational that they need. Okay, this is part of it. This is only one third of it. Staying in shape is number two. Okay, but the bottom line is they continue to continue. I'm 72. Okay, still playing ball with the 40 year old boys. Okay, it's a powerful feeling, I gotta tell you. A very powerful feeling. Okay, and as long as you stay in shape, you can still do it. You get out of shape, you're done. You might as well hang it up. So, that's the formula that I use to play till I'm 72. Okay, between the bike, the basketball, and the weight room, I can't go wrong. I'm going to live to be 100. I might live forever. <laughs> Thank you. Who am I? You know, I, I say the trash pretty well. That's where I get the attitude from, you know, driving to the basket. And I get the trash talk with the Gabby Payton, you know, going uptown. That's all we do is trash talking, let the game be talking. You know, with these gentlemen over here, they're not lucky. You know, winning three games, 
we just got some steam. We got a little steam. We always got it back and forth. But the steam seems this little next game, I'm definitely going to get it. All right. Hello, my name is Daniel Blaylock. This is Riverside Park. This is my neighborhood park. I love this park. I've been coming here for 20 years. Um, we just won eight games out here. There's good competition. Uh, my favorite player is always John Starks. You know, he's a humble guy. And I'm a New York Knicks fan. And he, he, uh, he's a great player. He had a lot of hearts. You know, it's not always the best player that I appreciate. I appreciate the, the players that hustle and do the little things. Now, it's not just about the stats. It's about the hustle, the heart, the willing to do whatever to win the game, you know? Uh, making good passes, rebounding, steals. So this is my neighborhood park. We just won eight games. And um, it's a wonderful day. You've been here for 20 years. How old are you? So I'm 38, and I'll be 39 this year. I know I look a lot younger. But uh, people, people tell me that all the time. Oh, but, uh, you said yeah. basketball hero. My basketball hero, John Starks. Like I said, John Starks. He never won the championship, but he he was a, he was a good leader. He inspired me so much. You know? So yeah, it's a great day out here. I try to learn from his games, and and I'm still a Knicks fan to this day. So hopefully we get it together. We get some nice picks, and we take it all away. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. This is Robert Pauly, Dan Romario's um, Productions. Um, I'm right out here at 76th Street and Riverside Drive on the Blue Hour 3 Basketball. I'm going to introduce you to a friend of mine that's been playing for the last 40 years. His name is Alan. Been playing basketball out here for the last 40 years. Four hundred years old. I'm here with Alan. Uh, how you doing? This is a great, uh, this is a great thing that they're doing today. Um, I really enjoy it. I've been playing out here since 1986. And uh, a lot of these, old, you know, a lot of the guys that's playing here have been playing for many years, and it's just a great thing. Great thing. Yeah, and um, so I got there's another man over here. Come here, Craig. Another man, yo, Craig. I'm going to the series, man. Come on, come on. And my man Craig, we got a lot of here too. Everything is Bayane. 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 No longer with Craig Plummer, Bayane. I converted to E5 20 years ago. Well, Craig, he's going to tell you what we've been doing out here the past 30, 40 years playing basketball. Tell me what you're doing. Taking care of each other's family, balling. I right, saw so your kids, little boys. All of us took care of each other's kids. All black men took care of black men's kids while we were playing ball, right? Yes. Sir. That's important. That's important. That's what I want people to know what we did. All our kids were here, growing up, now they're adults. College degrees, married, the whole nine yards. We all looked out for each other's kids. Bayeme. All right. Um, you want to go over the other side? No, sir. <laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Chris Solano. Good afternoon, Denise, all stars. I'm going to ask you two questions. Um, how long have you been doing this? And what does Black Lives Matter mean to you? I've been doing it for 20 years. Black Lives Matter means to me in life. It just means living. It means everything about just, you know what we do? We wake up every day, just about everything. Like breathing and living and thinking. And Black Lives Matter means so much. And from from Ruby and Mario Live, we want to recommend you, and we we've, we've been watching you for years, and we want to tell you that we support you in everything you do. Thank you. You get back to doing what you're doing, all purpose. Thank you so much, Miss All Purpose Woman Denise Allstars. Come support her, please. Time and videos. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening. <laughs> all right. My name is Sam. I'm going to be a referee in basketball games today at Denise All Stars. I support Denise All Stars and she does great work with these children. These kids are great kids. They have a great future ahead of them. We need to continue to listen and learn and, and, and behave. Behavior is very important and continue to practice fundamentals in school. Academics is very important. Again, my name is
Superstar, the referee, and I'm here to support the Beast. Our All Stars. Thank you very much. Shout out to Diamond Video. <laughs> Shout out to Diamond Video. Put them on YouTube. Oh, Diamond Video. Very nice. Great game. Shout out to Diamond Video. Diamond Video. Keep the dead door, Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Diamond Video. Shout out to Diamond Video. Shout out to Diamond Video. Shout
Okay, mic check. Okay, where you want me to start from? Uh, my name is Glenn McMillan. I'm in charge of the MML League, which is McMillan's League. Uh, this is a senior division of older guys, 40, 50, 60, and a little bit of 70 to go along with it. Uh, we started in Brownsville about 10, 15 years ago under Jocko, Greg Jocko Jackson at the BRC and we moved it back out to Queens because of the pandemic situation and no gym space and all that so we just getting it back together again. Uh, I grew up around here over 60 years ago playing in this park which is Ajax Park known as Dr. Charles Drew Memorial Park. Uh, I started from the far end of the court playing ball. I wasn't allowed to play with the big boys on the main courts. Uh, you couldn't come with your name, okay? And you couldn't come unless you had a game. And these big boys was not playing that mess, so I had to start years at the far end and not able to come over here with these guys. Uh, eventually, you know, you prove yourself, you get to be over here with, with the guys. We would come early Saturday morning, Sunday mornings. Sometimes, I hate to say it, we skipped church and came, <laughs> came where we weren't supposed to be there. Or even on Saturdays, if you didn't do your chores, you will get the whooping later on that night. Okay, so these are the things you had to go through, but that, that was what we did. Love, the love of the sport. And as we gotten older, and, or as I got older, you know, it was something that I thought was needed. You know, you, you know, when you go to the doctor and he said, what do you do? And I said, I used to play ball. He said, keep playing. So you play at your own pace. And a lot of times we come out here, you know, you, your mind may tell you something, but your body will tell you the truth at, at that old age. And a lot of times when you see on the shirts we had, I remember when, that was due to the fact that, you know, you always got uh, someone saying what they used to do. You know, they may say, I used to dump. And somebody else got a version and said, yeah, you used to get dumped to get dumped on. So, you know, you, you know, there's always a two sides to the story when you read about I Remember When. And like I say, it's a bunch of old friends coming in and having a good time. And the most, thing, most important thing, the biggest trophy or award you can get is the fact you can go to work on Monday morning and all. And that's what we want to see, not the hospital. So, you know, we greatly appreciate just being here. You know, every day you got to count your blessings. Hope we can be here and do it again the next day. So I really appreciate everybody and anybody who want to come out. We're going to be here for you. Okay?
Mario. My favorite thing about my Mario would be like something out of this world. He could, he could create things in his mind, bring it to real life, and you'd be like, wow, just that one man put it together. Yeah, all over the place. I think my favorite thing is his um, ability to produce a different type of energy that enlightens you to want to do better, want to do more. That's my favorite thing about Uncle Mario. Uh, any favorite memories that you have of him that you'd like to share? My favorite memory would have to be, uh, you know, we used to perform at the Bianca's Honor Park on 110, and um, it was a beautiful thing, because when the oldies and goodies would pop out, it show love, man. But I used to be work in the bathroom. I mean, cologne, towels, I had lotion for the, young, for the men. I mean, it would tip me nice. But see, when the music got real right, he taught me. 
come out with them flowers and ask, excuse me, ask the, ask the, ask the gentleman if you want a flower for your lady. So I, I thought that was real creative as, as a DJ coming up, you know what I mean? He knew how to entertain the people, and knew how to entertain the crowd, but besides the music. Yeah, my favorite memory was actually his recent birthday we had celebrated at the Hexagon Lounge in Harlem. It was actually a lot of fun, but Father's Day is coming up, so you and I need to have a conversation about what we're gonna do for Uncle Mario. We'll do it off camera, though. Yes, that's most definitely, I like that. Uh, do you have an Instagram? I do have an Instagram. It's gonna be General212, excuse me, General G212. Wonderful, and I'm Irais, that's I-R-A-I-Z-X-O-X-O underscore Hashtag Princess. Thank you so much. To be a part of this extraordinary affair, I want to thank you to the powers that be, to the young lady who was behind everything, as they called her, the engine of the party. Uh, matter of fact, here she is. Hey, 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 you running? What are you talking about? They called you the engine of the party. Why did they call you the engine of the party? Because I'm the engine of the party. <laughs> I know engines that you, whatever everybody, what name they call you? It was collected. It was a collective effort from me, my sister Roseanne, Marcy, because my cousin Tracy, Indira, Alec, Auntie Joy, Pelham, and Falami. It was a real collective effort because we really wanted to do this. Debbie, his Debbie. Uh, this was really something we had to do. Because you know he's really good to us. Yes, I know. Say something about you don't want to be someone's 75th birthday. Yeah, we did, and he, he's the one who canceled it. We were gonna do it, but he's the one who canceled it. So we snuck this one in. You make sure he smells his. Smells his now. Yes. yes. No, Thank you so much for having us here. We love you, Alex. You know we love you. We love you, and I personally love you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Uncle Alec, did you want to say something? Come on, love, say something. Did you say? Come on here. Say what you mean from your heart. All right. <laughs> First, I want to say happy birthday, you know. Not because of how old you are, because you're still a young ting, okay? But um, all the, I honestly, all the reason why I love you a lot, it would have to be the love that you've shown to my mom. Um, she's very special to me. So the fact that you guys have a very close connection and you've treated her very well. And she could, you know, have a lot of nice things to say about you. I appreciate it. And I love you very much. And I hope you in there enjoying your Ted Vodka shots. Acting what less. Doing your thing. And I hope you enjoy your birthday. Love ya. So thank you so much, love. Thank you. There you have it from the family. I mean, what else can we say? This is why uh, Michelle and I are in the happy people business. I mean, there are a lot of businesses out here. There's a lot of things that you could be a part of, but I must admit, we've been doing this for over 35 years and still going and still relevant, especially at the age that ages that we are, because now that the technology has changed, everybody feels that they can do what we're doing, but there's a certain way that you have to go about doing it. I hope I said that the right way. I mean, you, you, can, you can be a mechanic, but if you have somewhere, a place of business where people can come and actually see your work and have referrals and call people that have used you seven, 20 years ago and still say the same thing, on point, on time, and they say what they mean, and they mean what they say. So in case you'd like to reach out to us, feel free to do so. If you're watching this video, I hope something great happens to you, but it can happen to us as well if you spread and share our phone number with other people who might like to share any same memories on their, on their family as well. And the number is 646-548-5881. That's, six, that's my song in there. 646-548-5881. And shout out to the DJ who's holding it down. It's a beautiful party. It's beautiful people. And again, you can find me on Instagram under Over 50 Baller. If you'd like for me to come out to something that you're doing that I can come out and support. But nevertheless, I'd like to thank the family for allowing our family to be a part of their family. And Alec, I wish you many more years of happiness. On behalf of myself, Michelle Lee of Diamond Video, and myself, the over 50 baller, hope I see you on the basketball court or near it. Signing off, but before I go, make sure you take care of yourself mentally, physically, financially, and most importantly, spiritually. Because your brother did say something that was very true. We do stand on a lot of ancestors because our DNA proves it.